In addition to being a Rockette and Miss New York, she also has her own <laughs> swimwear line. You so Candace, three. no, it's amazing. And you uh, designed swimwear. So tell us about your swimwear line and how it became and how you started it. So pageants, mm -hmm. it like for some reason <laughs> all goes back to that. Yeah. Um, my mom, I grew up, so I have these unusually long legs and my mom was a seamstress. She would fix all our dance outfits, mm -hmm. everything that we were wearing. And I was like that picky child, that pain in the butt picky <laughs> child. I, for honest, honestly, I don't even know how to sew a point to because mm -hmm. my mom was that good. She did everything. She sewed your point shoes. She, yeah. I mean, like, if you asked her to do it, you it know, would be my really mom, bad. My mom did sew my first few pairs, and she was like, Jessica, this is crazy. You're she's on like, I'm done with this yeah. now. After, like, a few, she's like, e it's your turn. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, you're right, though. I, I don't think most moms do that. Yeah. So, anywho, um, as I was getting older, I um, competed for Miss Georgia. So, this was, like, this is what you do in the South, and I mm -hmm. competed for Miss Georgia, and um, I looked for a swimsuit that was going to, like, reflect all the work that I had been putting in at the gym. Couldn't yeah. find anything. So we were like deconstructing old stuff and new stuff mm -hmm. and came up with our own. So this was like the first prototype. Yeah. Um, How old were you then? So I was 18. Okay. This was like my before first. Before you moved to New York. This was the first. Okay. Yeah. Right before I moved to New okay. York. But anyways. So after I was done competing, my mom was like my secret weapon. Mm -hmm. And all these girls then were like wanting a custom suit so they would fly down to Georgia mm -hmm. get their custom suit whatever whatever so about the fifth year mm -hmm. up in the ice oh, wow. bath at Radio City yeah. <laughs> I was like hey mom what are we going to do with this business well, because yeah, people were flying and she was doing most of the sewing yeah right? okay. she was sewing okay. it cool. and these girls were coming all over like yeah, just to get amazing. the stuff done yeah which was kind of cool so um yeah, so then after that, I started doing small quantity production in New York in 2011, mm -hmm. um, and now we are kind of in business. Yeah. We have had the past four Miss Americas win oh in goodness. a Candace Pelletier swimsuit. Wow. Sponsored Miss USA. That's amazing. So yeah, so it's, it's yeah. really a pageant. Um, mm -hmm. Right now, it's kind of pageant specific niche, and we're mm -hmm. growing from there. Yeah, do you want to expand into like, I swear, could buy a suit? Or like, yeah. the general public could buy suits? Or what's. And you can. You totally can. Like, the pageant suit is just kind of like, I call it a show keeny. Yeah. <laughs> like, ready, you're ready. Yeah. Everything's lifted and in yeah. place, and all like that good stuff, and all the tricks. When you go yeah. to the beach, you want to be lifted and in place. You do, yeah. right? Or like in Vegas or Miami exactly. or like anywhere fun like that. But Dang. yeah, so I was just in this uh, business school this summer mm -hmm. and working on expanding. The oh, yeah, I remember you telling me about that. That was really yeah. cool. Thanks. You so got 25 of 25. us. Okay. It was called DENYC. Mm -hmm. It's an initiative in New York um, funded through the EDC. This might be really boring information, but it's kind of <laughs> cool. They're trying to keep uh, fashion yeah. no, it's cool. basically in New York. Mm -hmm. and I, so I got to work with a mentor who had a swimmer company mm -hmm. and he did helped me develop a business plan. Yeah. Um, competed in this business competition. Yeah. Um, so I was in the top 12. Yeah. Yay. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was awesome. So it was cool. Cheers. Cheers. I love it. <laughs>